gon' chew me, cut the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. The highlight question of this conversation is who determines the genre or album or song? And this is stemming from it recently came out that Beyonce received zero nominations for the CMAs. And there's been a lot of discourse on the internet given that to the fans, Country Carter is being considered as a country album, even though Beyonce herself said that this is not a country album, this is a Beyonce album in its country influence. I just want to have the conversation of should Cowboy Carter have received nominations for the CMAs despite what Beyonce said? And with all of the discourse, who decides the genre of an album? Is it us, the fans, listening to it, or is it the artists themselves? So we're judging the album as a whole or just like the individual? Can we... So the album, I, the I, album as a whole. Yeah. Or if we want to go through the categories, because I did look up the categories for the CMAs, if Cowboy Carter was to was or had gotten any nominations, they have single of the year, album of the year, song. What's the difference between single and song of the year? Female Vocalist of the Year, Musical Event of the Year, Musician of the Year, Music Video of the Year, things like that. So I know specifically for Song of the Year is that some of the criteria is that um, it has to have reached the top 10 of Billboard's Country Airplay chart, Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart, or the Country Air Check chart for the time period that all the songs are being considered for album of the year to qualify as the album or release must contain at least six different songs have a total playing line 15 minutes i don't see anything about charting or whatever but i did want to look into that um as far as the criteria and stuff I was gonna say, um, because I know you asked what's the difference between the song and single of the year. Song of the year is given to the songwriters and the single is given to the artist. Gotcha. So okay. if you win single of the year, then the artist get the award. If they win the song of the year, the songwriters get the award. Got it. Mm. So for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not, and I may, if I'm the only person on this island, that's fine. If Beyonce don't care that she got didn't get nominated for the CMAs, and I mean, I, I'm, I'm not showing too much of a big deal about it, especially if she said herself that this is not being, that she's not considering it a country album. She said, this ain't a country album. This is a Beyonce album. Mm-hmm. So she's not considering mm-hmm. it a country album. It don't seem like she's pressed. So I'm not sure why we should be pressed. Like I get the discourse that when she dropped like uh, Texas Hold'em and um, 16 Carriages that some of the country radio stations weren't playing it or they were, you know, getting responses like we play country music, we don't play Beyonce and things like that. But the article I read seems more so Mm -hmm. that she wasn't making the album to get in the country space. She was just, because of the whole Dixie Chick situation, it sounded like she made the album to prove a point that she mm-hmm. can make that music and do her big one and get on down. So I don't I don't know. Yeah. If Okay, so for me, I... Damn, what Antoine go? Is it me or is my, my screen for like... No, nah, Antoine, line, Antoine but... dropped off on mine too. And look, because I had to... I had to look at... You know, I had to look at the chart placements for the album and see, you know, what where the album. So on the bill and what for Billboard as a whole, it charted, but I read that it didn't even it didn't chart on the um the country on Billboard's country charts. Yes, it did. I'm reading it it, it made it at number one on country, Americana, and top album sales. So it went number one on the country album. And Billboard she was the first black yeah. And she was the first black woman ever to lead the top country albums list. Um, it says also playing the biggest week for a country album by units since Taylor Swift. So yeah, it says um, 
Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages tracks debuted and have P on number ones and number nines, respectfully, on Billboard's Hot Country Songs charge, marking Beyonce's first entry on the tally. So her songs and her albums charted with the, with the country people. It might not have been for long, but that album was number one on Billboard Country and Texas Hold on and 16 Carriages charted with the country songs. So I'm my point is, did, did they chart in time, I guess, for the um, CMAs? Because I do remember seeing that they were charting. But it's it's from a certain it was definitely I can't remember the period where they look at the songs. It's like, but I think it definitely fit in the um window for the time the, um, period in the window yeah. mm -hmm. where it could where it would be considered i dropped so, out yeah, but uh i do i i, I remember the, the last thing i heard was that you're not pressed about it i'm also not pressed about it if she don't care she don't care um i do feel like yeah a lot of that stuff did sound it did have a lot oh. of, it was a country genre in my opinion I see where yeah, it said. I, this is where I got it mixed up at, King. It said that on Billboard's country airplay chart, it stalled, Texas Hold'em stalled at number 33, and Jolene never made it higher than number 56. So, yeah. Which was one of the I, charts that they consider for single of the year. Yeah, and my thing is, though, I know Beyonce probably don't care, but it's like, well, like, why not? Like, this is a good album. It was a popular album in this country. So why would y'all blatantly leave her off these categories? It's like it's, I'm just trying to wrap my head around why would y'all do that? It, it, to me, it kind of felt spiteful. To me, it was like, okay, you can drop this country album trying to show us some. No, bitch, we finna show you some. And it's like, why? I like, why? I can I can see that side, but and the, it's, to uh, me, it's like she didn't have to win them because I see a lot of people saying that, oh, y'all just want Beyonce to win everything. I'm not a part of the behalf, but my thing is uh, at least put her up, at least nominate her, acknowledge the fact that, that she, she made a country album. a number one country album. Acknowledge that. Why is it so hard for y'all to acknowledge that? Well, do yeah. you think that I would say, like, her experience, I believe she said it was 2016 when she mm -hmm went to the CMAs and she said she didn't feel very welcomed into the space yeah. and things like that. Is it possible that even 2024, like, even though you've made this country album, you're still not welcome in this space? And I'm trying to understand why is it... Sh I, don't, I don't know what Beyonce did on the back end to make them people mad at her, but, like, I look at Kay Michelle, like, she has been switched. She switched over to the country space and she's been having, they've been treating her well, you know. She's been nominated for CMA Awards and been invited to the okay. award show. Um, was it Im immediately though or did it take time? I think when I first heard K. Michelle was doing country, I think that was back when she was in college. Man, no, let me lie. It was around that time. And like maybe a couple mm -hmm. years ago is when she really started popping up on the country music scene. So it wasn't immediately off the bat. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna do that. It wasn't off the bat she was in there, but she, I think she had to put in you know, a little, you know, but you, I think she got an endorsement. I forgot who finally endorsed her in the countryside to make people, you know, gravitate towards her. Cause you know, it usually take an endorsement, you know, you know, Lil Nas X had Billy Ray. Um, I forgot who Shabuzi had, which one of the white men endorsed him for the white people. So listen to him. I thought, um, what you call it was going to do for Beyonce. What's her name? That sang Jolene. With the big titties. Ooh, my bad. Dolly Parton? What's that thing? What's that thing? She said, what's the call it with the big titties? Uh-oh. What's her name? Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. So, apparently that, that, that wasn't enough for, for them to be convinced over there in the country realm. But. I. It is weird, though. It's, it is weird. I Okay. And and I would, and I would agree with that, that even though Beyonce's not considered a country album, they still could have gave her her flowers. Like, hey, mm -hmm. I, we understand that you're not calling this a country album, but we would like to nominate your album, a few of your songs for mm -hmm. the CMAs. Even they, if she didn't win, nominate her and invite her out. Real cute. You know, flowers are given. Beyonce can go home go to bed. Mm -hmm. I, I see I, that. I, I see that side. And then I just see it as the other thing that is it possible that they may have been going off of her statement? Like, well, if she don't consider it a that, country album, we're not gonna bother. That's what I was gonna say. Because if she's saying it, they yeah, like they not they not 
for real gonna care because unless they really just got this panel that sits down and be like, okay, this is country. That y'all listen to this. This is country. We gonna we gonna put this in the awards, or we gonna nominate them or something like that. But if they heard it and they was like, oh, well, she said that ain't country. We ain't gonna worry about that for real. And it could be some other deep seated political, you know, mm-hmm. that's what thing, I think very very deep into that decision. But on I, the yeah. or or it also could just be you know she's not considered because on the other end of the spectrum, I'm thinking about can't remember when we talked about this. Um, King, but it was a live stream where you had talked about how with Nikki with Super Freaky Girl, how she deemed uh-huh. it a pop song, but they put it in hip hop. Right. So mm-hmm. now it's it was the other way around. She deemed it hip hop and they put it in pop. Mm-hmm. She deemed it hip hop and they put it in That's melodic wild. pop or something like that. Okay, the thing my bad. Is they gave um, big energy hip hop. And they was like, that's supposed to be in pop with Mariah Carey singing that. That was the whole thing about that. So I guess, so I guess, like the point, the point that I'm trying to make is that maybe we should listen to the award show. We should listen to the artists. Okay, so let me ask y'all this: So if it was us giving out awards and we came to the country category and we came up on Capital Quarter, knowing that it went number one in the country category and a few of her singles went charted in the country category, would we just sit here and be like, okay, well, since Beyonce said it's not country? No, we're not I would put her in no categories. I would do exactly knowing what, what I we know. Know about what the CMAs or just the, know... the how her album plays with the general public, like but, in the country category. And that's what I and that's why I was saying earlier that the CMAs could have been like, "Hey, Beyonce, if I was awards person, you know, I'm on the Academy or whatever, I've been like, "Hey, Beyonce." Even though you are not considering your album a country album, we would still like to nominate yeah. your album and some of your songs because they did place on the charts that would fit the criteria for some of these awards that we have. And that's how they just had country vibes. And that's where I and that's they where did. I wasn't disagreeing that they could have did mm. that. But I was also saying on the other side of the spectrum is that sometimes we get to award shows and they don't listen to the artists of where they want mm-hmm. their their um, art and their music to be. Yeah. Where we have situations like Nicki calling Super Freaky Girl like hip hop and they just decided, oh, we're going to throw it in pop. But I think the difference is with this, though, Beyonce didn't give this a category. She said it was a Beyonce album, so it was left up for interpretation where we wanted to put it. So, they so, had that, the so then that could be... To put it in the country, yeah. technically she didn't say it was an R and B or a pop. She didn't say she didn't say it was country. She didn't say it was anything, you guys. That's how I would be in the ballroom. She didn't say it was anything, you guys. So but then, not? I mean, yes. Well, why not? But then also, I guess the double edge sort of that is that she didn't specific call it country either. Mm-hmm. But it wouldn't like, hurt. But, though. but it, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. Because of like but, chart data and everything that we know, but if it's going to be open to interpretation, like at, I mean, what? Because if it's going to be open to interpretation, where would you put it? We, that's what I was going to ask too. That, and that's, and that's where, where I'm saying. Because it's not I, going on R and B. It's not. No, it's not going, not going in hip hop. <laughs> it might go in pop, but some of the songs they might slide in pop, but you might get away with pop. Rock, no, if not, if we want to no. stay, if we want to state the obvious, is country. If we want to it's state the obvious, is country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if we're gonna say it, if we're gonna say it's open to interpretation. But but I think they they did. I think Beyonce wanted this to happen. I think that's why she did that. That's why she said it's not a country album. It's a Beyonce album. She left it open like that to see what they was gonna do. And that was all right there. You ain't we're not putting you nowhere on our score cards, girl. Miss Girl. Go go pop country. <laughs> they got pop. They got, <laughs> no. I, I thought she, I thought I read it as because go go is a genre of music in the DMV. Go go is a mm-hmm. genre of music. Yeah. So I thought mm-hmm. I the comment that came up, I read it as go go. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Pop it's all right. country. It's all right. We got a little water. Yeah, get your water. <laughs> but I feel what you're saying, no fool. She didn't say, but I don't think so that could have. Like, what my thing is, it didn't, it wouldn't have hurt y'all. And it probably would have gave y'all more attention this year for the CMAs had y'all done that. And that's yeah. fair. 
and all all of the points of fair that they could have. And I'm just gonna stick with on the surface level that they didn't want like an, an open and interpretation type thing. Mm -hmm. Like Beyonce said, it's not yeah. country. We not even gonna worry about all that. But I feel that. Under the iceberg, under the water, there might yeah. be some political tension. They that for real, yeah. That if they wanted it, they would have been the it, but... and Beyonce. Because if we're just going back to her 2016 performance, if she wasn't welcome there performing with the Dixie Chicks, yeah. But they said that the, the, Dixie, the Dixie Chicks had been blackballed in the country scene, and that was their first time popping back up in front of folks. And that's what I read. That's why. That's what I read that they were mad at Beyonce for because the Dixie Chicks had did something. And them country people won't fuck with them, and they pop up with Beyonce. Ooh, I'm gonna say something. Ooh, uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Not only did we kick you out here, but you pop up with her. We got something for you too. And with her next time she wanna come over here. So I feel it. They wrong for that though, because it, it pisses me off because y'all wanna gatekeep a journey with the child didn't even start to begin with. Y'all didn't got to create this. So how y'all gonna come over here and buy a motherfucking house? Us out and won't let us back in. That's great. That's a get up out girl. my seat. I would this could do you think we got five minutes left on this topic? Do you guys think that this might open the door for like the BT awards to start having a country category? No, to, I wouldn't to mind. honor to honor black yeah. artists and country I wouldn't would get not mind recognition that. at the CMAs. Does that mean we can get not only Beyonce but Shabuzi, Miss Tanner? Because I love me some Tanner Ardell. I love Miss mm -hmm. Tanner. Like she and the other, I don't know any more. Uh, Miss Tanner, 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 F you, then they pop back up with Beyonce, and they're like, oh, oh. But yeah, I, I wouldn't be mad at the B two was having. I would be all for the X of the B two. Yeah, they should honestly do that. Because I feel because I eat with that. Because you know. I think I feel like this goes back to our Black History Month conversation. It might have been music, or it might have been Hollywood in music, where we had this conversation that we have to start expanding our spaces. Mm hmm. And for like BET, it doesn't have to be R&B, hip hop, uh, rap, and hip hop. Cause, all that. Because now yeah. we have we have black pop artists. Yeah, as you can see, given category. given Country Carter, we have black country artists. And I too, they can do alternative rock with Willow Smith and I was just Tizzo, about to say, touchdown Tizo. I was just about to say that two of the um, Sleep Theory and the Fluorescence are two new. Um, pop rock, alt rock bands that I've just gotten into, and their lead singers are black men. Yeah. So, like... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be mad if BT did add two new categories, one for, you know, rock, alt rock, and one for, well, pop, well, it'll be three if they do pop, alt rock, and country, but I think that's, that's doing too much at one time, so I think I feel like I feel like pop and country at first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then like, they can do the alt rock a little later down the line. Because... MTV, if we just want to go back to the VMAs, the VMAs is to me is very pop heavy. Yeah. And mm -hmm. as you can see, Taylor Swift dominate that all up and down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like if we could have if the BT Wars could be expanded to accept black pop artists, black country yeah. artists, and right. maybe and and if this happens with the country music, if the rumor still stands that Act Three is going to be rock and roll, that might open the door for something like that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so, BT. So Tyler Perry, y'all, y'all watching, y'all need to. Uh, yeah, Tyler Perry does well not have BT. Anyway. They need to let me in <laughs> if they let me in that room, I'll revamp BT. Man, I swear to God, I would bring back 106 and Park. All of that. I would revamp BT. BT at the door. Hey, the if they bring back 106 and Park, folks got to make videos. Yeah, that's how I feel like that. Folks got to make. To. I feel like that. Uh, if you want to be, if you want to be number one on the top twenty on one hundred and six and part, you gotta make a video. A video. <laughs> you gotta make a video. And when you somebody from the motherfucker bodega, get the fuck over. I right, you're doing you the, same the same thing every time. We gonna be watching the same three making a stallion videos every one hundred and six and part. Y'all got to make the videos. Y'all got to get in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. But um, I went so, so after that, it did come out that Country Carter, um, Not Country Carter, Country Carter, Cowboy Carter, Country oh. Music, Cowboy Carter, 
country mm-hmm. music, yeah. Cowboy, Cowboy Carter. Carter. Right, right. Cowboy Ooh. Carter. I don't think they got nominated, but they qualified for the Grammys. The album qualified for the Grammys, correct? Okay, I saw that. The, the um, country categories at the Grammys. Yeah, I saw that. So, there goes the recognition there, and I don't mm. I don't know. We could still talk about the political stuff, that it could be some behind the scenes, like, oh, don't worry about the CMAs. We got you at the Grammys. Yeah, and, I, like and I think that's what it's giving, because the Grammys would eat with that. They would eat with that if they came to Beyonce, it was like, you know, you know, your husband did all that last year, girl. We got you. The CMAs, we got you. Matter of fact, we're gonna put your album and all your singles in the country category. You're gonna take home two awards and you get to give a speech. How about that, Beyonce? We got she you. She probably was like, yeah, yeah. The Grammys would eat with that. If they gave Beyonce at least one country award, one country Grammy, they would eat with that. They would eat. They'll eat yeah. with that. I don't know what I was thinking going into this album. He must have said something. I was like, oh, so we're not in Hollywood Arts anymore. You said right. we're not we're what? In Hollywood Arts anymore. No, we're like, not at Hollywood Arts. That man is that man is singing. Yeah. On that-